receptors in your body that take in THC and when you smoke overly a lot, you just drown them. And then your body is just used to you doing everything high. So when you try to do a sober, bro, you can't. What up, Alchemist gang? It's your boy, K.O. I'm back again with another banger video for y'all. Before I'm in this video, I really hope you take care of yourself. Saying affirmations, doing your meditation, doing what you gotta do to take care of yourself because you do remember your spiritual being having a temporary human experience, right? For sure, for sure, how to make sure you know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you never miss another banger upload from me. I'm an empath, I'm a star seed, I'm a life coach. I do my best to help you expand your consciousness, grow on your spiritual journey, and become the better version of yourself, all right? We do lit shit over here, it's a lit situation. But, as y'all can tell by the title, Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my one week so far on this no weed journey for 30 days after a two year use every single day. Yes, bro. Smoking weed every single day for two years straight. Now, a lot of y'all that's watching this video, I probably smoke weed. Oh, that's lighting is horrible. Y'all probably smoke weed yourself. Like, I feel like everybody smoke weed nowadays. So it's just like, a lot of people gonna be able to relate. Um, first off, let me just talk about why I'm stopping weed. All right, I'm not stopping weed completely. I'm just taking a break, like y'all said. Like I on the one, like y'all heard me say, a three day challenge, the moon and shit. Oh my god, I can see the moon. Um, so uh, I'm just taking a little, a little, a little break because look, let me tell you why. I was addicted. Okay, I was addicted to weed, and as you know, I'm on the spiritual journey, and addictions can't be there because that's just. A hindrance it's the devil trying to keep you it's his way of keeping me on his leash okay that was the only way he had me on his on his leash was the weed at this point it was nicotine it was some other shit in the past but now that i'm grown i'm grown and i'm i'm really deep into it now it's the weed and he was he had me for a while i'm not gonna lie he had me for a minute i had so many excuses of why i didn't want to stop why i didn't want to take no break from weed and i just finally did it okay and i'm glad i did because this shit feels amazing and i'm gonna get y'all hip on why i stopped how i got through with drug hot bus through this week so boom, um, yeah, bro, I had to stop because now we, let me tell you this, we like, it affects everyone differently. This is what I had to realize. Weed affects everyone differently. Some people don't even get withdrawals from stopping smoking weed, but me and then along with most other people they do, uh, I basically, it wasn't a hindrance for me because I use it as a reward system. Not really what kept me on it. Whenever I, I would just get a whole bunch of shit done in the day, I would get all my shit done, get my work done, you know, and then at the end of the day, Blow some gas, blow a wood, nigga. And that shit was be the back of my mind while I'm doing that shit. Can't wait to go home and blow a wood. Can't wait to go home and blow a wood. You know what I mean? And it would just, it would just be there. And I, I'm not gonna lie, that's the best thing to have. But it's just like, with anything, bro, you have to do it in moderation. I was definitely abusing that shit, nigga. I would definitely smoke more than I should have in a day. Smoking every day, I wouldn't say is bad, but as much as I would be smoking every single day it was really, really, really like not good for like my CBD receptors. Cause I feel like you, I haven't really dove into it, but I know you got some receptors in your body that take in THC. And when you smoke overly a lot, you just drown them. And then your body is just used to you doing everything high. So when you try to do a sober bro, you can't, that's like you, a lot of y'all can agree with that. A lot of y'all probably accidentally went to bed without smoking or some crazy shit and noticed it was a lot more hard and like, damn, bro, what was going on? Do I need to smoke? And that's when you find out you're addicted because you can't go without it. You feel me? When you start smoking weed, doing everything, your body becomes used to it. And I had and I had to realize like I couldn't really like function off that. And me, I'm the type of person that I don't want the plant controlling me. I want to control the plant. Once that little plant was controlling me, I'm not fully controlling my emotions and thoughts like I be talking about. And that's not okay because I'll get put in this vibration of of, of lack and desire at some point because uh because I I, I I didn't have it or I wanted it and I didn't like that shit. Sometimes I would even spend, I would spend all, I spent a lot of money on weed, bro, because of just my addiction. I'm not gonna lie. Cause like if I wasn't addicted and I just liked smoking weed, I wouldn't have spent as much money because the only reason why I kept grabbing weed when I didn't need to was because I needed to grab it because I needed to be able to eat and sleep. You know what I mean? That shit is like lame as fuck, ain't it? Like I spent my damn money on weed when I didn't really want to, but I had to because I wanted to smoke. And on top of that, I, I knew I, I knew I didn't want to deal with the withdrawals, bro. That's my only thing. I just knew that I was gonna have withdrawals because of, I think I've tried before in the past and I, I went, I tried to go one day Nigga, I ended up throwing up because I don't know. It was the way I went about the, 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 the I, it was the way I went about it. it. It fucked me up, okay? 
Um, but I can definitely say this. I lasted this week because of some shit I implemented, and I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna get you hip just in case you try to take a break from weed. Um, so I basically, yeah, I stopped because I was addicted, and it was affecting me in that way. Uh, I'm on the spiritual journey, and there's nothing. And I'll let you know this: there's nothing. Like I said, there's nothing wrong smoking weed on the spiritual journey. It's perfectly fine, bro. Weed affects everyone differently, but it's just moderation is the key. Moderation is key, okay? Moderation. Um, so I definitely had to switch up some shit. It definitely takes some self-discipline, and it also takes some self-love, enough self-love to just do this for yourself. And I did, and I'm, I'm definitely reaping the benefits of my reward because God, he definitely blesses me when I do things like this. When I'm a man, what he's telling me to do, I think he's been telling me to do this for a minute. I've been seeing different videos, different signs on TikTok, and I didn't want to, I ignore them, bro. I swear, I tell you. Like, y'all probably can agree if you someone that smoked a lot of weed and you know you got, and like something been telling you you need to take a break, but you just been ignoring it. You've been like, nah, I'm not, I don't want to, bro. Like, or nah, I'll do it this time or some shit. If you're watching this video, you've been thinking about stopping. This is your sign. Just, just go ahead and get it out the way, bro. Because that thug out this two weeks or the third day, however long you're trying to go without it, get it out the way, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, once you reset your body, you're going to be 10 times better. Because my thing is, look, I'm probably going to get, I never used to get high up edibles for shit. I might get off high up edibles now, you know what I mean? I'm going to enjoy weed more. So I'm just like, I'm glad I did this week because it, it definitely, it made me change my mindset on how I looked at weed and how I look at life in general. And I can't lie, but me being high all the time, it did change my perception of reality a little bit. It made it a little wacky. It made me think a, a little bit too much about shit because I will overthink a little bit too much when I smoke. I'm not going to lie. I know I, I know I was smoking too much. We had the point where I start to get a little anxiety. I would just be like, oh yeah, I got to chill. You tell me? That's just me though because that's just how it affected me. And, and let me know how I that that's how it let me know I needed to s slow down. Um, but let's talk about the first. Let's talk about the first couple of days. The first couple of days of me s stopping, I would say, were like hell. Um, sleep was horrible. I was tossing and turning, and I woke up feeling like shit. I was fucking sweating in my sleep. I was literally sweating in my sleep, and the side of my bed was like damp. It was like damp. And I had to sleep on the side of my bed, bro. Like, I think that was because my body is like purging out all this marijuana and shit that was in my like cells and stuff. So I was just sweating in my sleep. It was super fucking horrible, bro. Like, I did not like it. But I still thugged it through. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The urges to smoke were so there. They were so there. Of course they're there because you, you go in cold turkey. I went cold turkey. Some people say just smoke one blunt a day. Go to one blunt a day. Look, bro, that shit is not gonna work. All right. If you want to really stop, just I died. So I gotta use my phone. But like I was saying, some people say go take one blunt a day, go down one blunt a day and go from there, bro. Honestly, bro, if you're someone that's heavily addicted to weed, just go ahead and go cold turkey. Just thug it out. Because, bro, honestly, you try to go one blunt a day, it's just going to keep going up. Because, like, if you smoke, you smoke, bro. I know I'm going to do one blunt and I'm done. No, you're going to still be fiending, bro. Like, if I, after I smoke one thing, I'm going to want to smoke again. Like, my thing was that helped me stop was just, like, I got no weed on my, fa my face. All the weed in my room was gone. And I just did it. That's what I did. That was my only way because I was I, I, I was fiending. But I can definitely say, though, uh, you you will get through it, bro. Like, the withdrawals get better. I'm saying, like, you get better. Like, within the week, I'm, it's, I'm already a week in, bro, and I already feel better. Like, the thing that was stopping me was, ooh, the moon. The only thing that stopped me was literally because I didn't want to deal with three, two, three weeks of just hell. I thought it was going to be just straight hell. I didn't the withdrawals were going to get better, but I definitely feel a lot more better. I can eat better. I can sleep way better. Like, I slept like a baby last night, and I'm a week in. This is a week mark. And I ate, like, really good yesterday. So I'm already, like, seven days in, and I'm already doing pretty well. So I'm just saying, like, if you're someone that's thinking about stopping, bro, just go ahead and get it out the way if you're addicted because you want to knock that addiction off, bro. You don't want to deal with no addiction before it gets in, it'd be even more worse and it's just harder to stop. Um, weed is definitely not bad, though. I'm glad that it's not, like, no heavy-ass shit. Like, weed is not bad with the spiritual journey. But moderation, like I said, moderation is very highly important. You don't want to fuck yourself over. So you just want to help and reset your body. My thing is I'm going to reset my body. When I start smoking again, I'm going to do, like, once every two days in a week type shit so i won't really get so addicted to it again because i know how i can get bro i have an addictive personality and i like i love weed and i like to escape my reality sometimes i'm a pisces so you know how we are so it definitely gets to that point um <laughs> but i definitely gotta say though it's definitely doable bro um i do highly i do highly recommend you to do some working out because that does help you like with your appetite when you work out it does make you have a stronger appetite because when you, you, you know, when you work out, you, you, lo you lose a lot of energy. You know, like after you go to the pool, you got the pool, like you be a lot more hungry because you did, you use a lot of energy. 
when I go work out and I do some crazy shit, I, just, I do it on purpose. So then when I go home, I have a stronger appetite. I will, I will definitely have to say my appetite has definitely got stronger. My appetite has definitely got stronger over this week. I didn't think it was going to get this good. Like my appetite is getting a lot more better. And I've been taking my black oil, my macro, my sea moss, like I said. So I, I definitely, it definitely has helped. I do highly recommend y'all to get that black sea oil and shit. Like I told y'all, because that shit do benefit. You feel me? Um, It's definitely, definitely the move. Um, Especially if you're just trying to become that better version of yourself. If you're really serious about like becoming that full on better version of yourself, aligning your chakras and all this crazy shit, you got, this is part of it if you were addicted. So um this one week has definitely have been pretty interesting i didn't think i would be able to get through it but hey look at me now and i got self-discipline not to smoke the only reason why i used to smoke was because i had to because my i defeat that addiction i got weed in my house right now and i don't, I don't i'm not even gonna smoke it because i don't got to i'm on this break and i'm not i have enough self-discipline not to go spark it up you know what i mean i'm not gonna lie here and there i do be getting tempted like i want to like oh man do i go do it oh i kind of want nah i'm not gonna do it though i'm not um but I definitely gotta say I can't wait to start smoking again, bro. Like, <laughs> I I'm going to let y'all know that I'm not gonna act like I'm not just feeding because look, after this these little weeks are over, nigga, I'm gonna be blowing gas, not like heavily again, but I'm gonna be blowing gas. I'm gonna be blowed. <laughs> ah, cause y'all know if you know you know I love smoking weed. So, um, I just had to do this because one I'm gonna experiment because I want to do it for people that are interested in how this because people there's people that are interested in how it affects and how it works because there's people that want to stop but they don't they're scared of the withdrawal so I'm like your experiment I'm letting you know how I did it how I felt how it affected me how I got through it oh and if you somebody that like for also helping with me eating I had you know those naked smoothie drinks at the store mm-hmm yeah I've been drinking those and no bitches been getting me right because look when you in the first like three days bro, you're gonna need them because you have faint appetite and those got those really got me over because like when i really didn't eat shit and i just it was like my stomach was aching bro i'll go drink some naked drinks and i was good like i would drink them and i was good and i'll say you get headaches too but those are really minor bro i cannot remember those headaches like they probably were like once or twice out of the day in the first three days and i rarely had them because i would just be go active or i'll be on the game or i'll be just doing something to just fill my mind or I'll just go watch some YouTube videos that are just uh, informational. Just some crazy shit. That's just me, though, because that's just how I am. So, I mean, you got to do whatever you can do to replace the weed with something productive in your life. Whether that's reading a book, whether that's working on your channel, working on your purpose, sing, make, make music. Do whatever you got to do to just make yourself become a better version. Okay? Um, but, yeah, I could definitely say that one week is definitely... I, I appreciate that I did that for myself because it definitely was something I needed the devil has been tempting to me, but that's part of it. That's part of anything when you're trying to become a better version of yourself, whether that's on no fap, same retention. Any addiction you're trying to stop, the devil will keep trying to lure you back into him because the devil doesn't want you to do better. So, the, just your part, when your part comes in, you just got to stick safe, have the faith, have the perseverance, and just stick to the plan, okay? Because you know how the devil gets. He'll have you certain friends, have certain people that he know that can get you to try to lure you back in. I won't go. He's already testing me, and I've already almost slipped back in, but I didn't do it because we are divine ones. You feel me? Um, but yeah, bro, I highly recommend. I highly recommend just taking a break if you are addicted because you know, like, you probably know, like, if you're going on a trip, let's say you're going on a trip for a week and you can't bring weed, you want to be able to not have to worry about your whole eating and shit fucked up like that's like i don't know if that was just me i just hate having to worry that i had to smoke to do shit you know like that shit just didn't sit right with me at all like i didn't want to have to depend on it like the dependence was bad like like i said like you don't have like you don't have full self-love if you're depending on a person place or thing this is not just relationship like i'll be talking about like this also comes with the weed too like with self-love, if you're addicted to weed and it's affecting you in a bad way, with self-love, you bring that in to help yourself stop that and to, to, to reprogram yourself, okay? I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm just showing y'all some example of, you know, how it affected me. And if, if you are motivated to do it, then do it. You feel me? Take that action. Basically, what I got to say is just take that action. And the universe is going to meet you halfway. You'd be surprised, okay? I won't lie to you, bro. This shit, is, this shit is nice. And it's part of the healing journey. Um... But weed's amazing. Marijuana affects everyone different. The plant is very, very versatile. Um, like I said, make sure you do it in moderation because it can affect you in the way negatively if you let it. Um, but that's pretty much it, bro. That's just one weekend. If I do last the next two weeks, I will do another video on the third week. 
and I'll let you know how it affected me and how I got through it. But uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you know never miss another banger video from me. And uh, I'm out this bitch, Alchemist Gang. Peace.